Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a little bit of a different video. The other day I was doing my makeup, and I was using a product, and I thought, like I just had this fleeting thought, I was like, oh, I wish I had a face palette that had this product in it, and then I could just kind of reach for them all together. And then I thought, well, why don't I, why don't I like, pull like individual products or products from other face palettes together to kind of make my dream face palettes? I absolutely adore face palettes. I have a whole drawer full of face palettes. I did a video a while ago. I really do need to update it, but I'll throw it up in the cards where I went through all my face palettes, talked about my favorites, ranked them. Um, so I'll have that up in the cards, but I really do need to update it. So I'll probably come out with a new one in a few weeks or so. And the chunky boy just left the room. So I have basically two face palette concepts here, and then I have one highlighter palette concept that I'm just gonna go through, and they're basically just kind of a hodgepodge of some of my favorite products in my collection thrown together into what I think would be like really nice face palettes. So the first palette that I put together, oh, well not, not now, Rex. So the first palette that I put together looks a little something like this. So these are actually individual products that I put in. This is a baked bronzer from Milani. This is a tart blush. This is a highlighter from Kylie Cosmetics. I believe it's in the shade French Vanilla. And then this is a dark earthy blush from Burberry. And here are all of those shades swatched out. So for me and my complexion, this would be a nice bronzer, a contour, a blush, and then our highlighter. So let's talk about these products briefly. The uh, Baked Bronzer from Milani is actually one of my favorites. I don't hear it talked about too much on YouTube and I think it's because it doesn't really show up that well on camera. It really is best for like your everyday, it's a very natural looking like glowy bronzer and it does not pick up well in pictures or on camera. It kind of looks like you're not really wearing anything. But in real life, when you're looking someone face to face, it just looks like a beautiful little glow, kind of like lit from within. So I love that, and this is actually, I've got the thing on the back, it's in the shade 9, which is called Dulce, and that's their baked bronzer shade. Next, let's talk briefly about the Burberry blush. So this is called an earthy blush, but I use it as a contour, it's a deep shade. This was a, um, a mini that I got in a full mini kit from Burberry a while ago, and while I really enjoy it, I don't know if I would, I don't think I would pick up a full priced product of this. I've hit pan, so I do get a lot of use out of this, but to be quite frank, as much as I like it, I don't think I would go and purchase the big full size, which is kind of why I thought like this kind of size pan would be perfect in a face palette. Next, I have a newer product in my collection, this Tarte Blush. I don't know exactly what shade it is in. It was actually a gift from my good friend here on YouTube, Bougie Brie, um, but I just love, it's like a peachy, I love peachy tone blushes, so I thought peach would w work well with these shades. And then the highlighter in French Vanilla. Um, I hated the packaging, which is why I depotted it and it's in here, but I'm surprised at how much I actually really like this formula from Kylie. Um, I've used it enough to wear off the imprint for the most part of it. I haven't hit pan in it yet, but I really do like this formula. So there is Dream Face Palette number one. The next face palette isn't gonna look like actually as cohesive as I can make it because it's three individual products and then one product from a palette. For the bronzer, I would like to bring in from the Balm this Take Home the Bronze shade, very pretty. For the contour, I really enjoy the shades from this Lunatic Cosmetics Labs contour palette. I'm specifically thinking this dark shade right here. For blush this time around, I'd like to bring in an oldie but a goodie, again from Milani. This is the Baked Blush in Luminoso. Last and certainly not least, I'd like to bring in one of my favorite highlighters of all time. This is the Becca Cosmetics Royal Glow palette. And here are those shades swatched out. To be honest, they look really pretty together and this would be more like a, a, a summer glowy inspired face palette. Let's start with the balm. I was surprised by how much I actually like this bronzer. I tried the other bronzer from them, like before they came out with these, I believe they really only had one bronzer, which was the Bahama Mama bronzer. And it was just way too dark. It, it looked a bit muddy on me. I wasn't a fan. Uh, these ones, they came out with the whole line and I think they ran into copyright issues with like the Oscars <laughs> and award ceremonies because they quickly like renamed all of these shades and like had to re-release them. So I don't think it's still called Oscar because um, this is the Take Home the Bronze and Oscar. I think they had to rename all of them. So uh, I don't know what it actually is called right now, but I was surprised by how much I like this. It blends out really nicely. It's a good tone. It doesn't look orange. 
just really enjoyable. And a heads up, if you're ever interested in getting anything from The Balm, uh, wait twice a year, they do 50% uh, off their whole website sales, and that's the best time to pick up literally anything from them. Next from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs, I, uh, this was a bit pricey, I did buy it secondhand. I think full price, these contour books re retail around $72, which is a bit much. I got this off of either the Depop or Mercari for around 50, and I think it's worth that price. There's a lot of shades in here, I don't think I'm gonna hit pan in these anytime soon. Um, but I really like these contours and these contours. So the one I used for this palette that I thought would look nice because we've got some warm tones and very summery tones is right down here. And you can see by the use I've used these the most and like up here, up here. <laughs> This is a holy grail for a lot of people. It's a holy grail for a reason. This is the Luminoso Blush from Milani. It's just really good and it's really pretty. It's glowy, it looks beautiful. It doesn't show texture or anything. It's just one of my go-to blushes. And the only downside is I, I don't like the, the bulky packaging. It's kind of annoying, which is kind of why I thought, you know what, I wish I had this in a face palette. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, my favorite highlighter. I wish I had like a bunch of these and I actually have three in total now that Becca has been closing down. Um, but I just really enjoy this. And if honestly, I probably could have put this in every dream face palette that I could have mocked up, but I thought it would work well here just because it's very warm toned, very bright. Like again, every shade in this kind of mock palette just reminds me of summer. So that is everything for the second dream face palette. So the last palette that I dreamed up is a highlighter palette because I do have a lot of highlighter palettes that I do adore, but there are quite a few individual highlighter favorites that I think would be awesome in a palette. First highlighter is from Physicians Formula and this is the Natural Nude Shimmer Brick. Personally, I like the top row better because I have a lighter complexion. This bottom row, I use more like a glowy kind of bronzer than a highlighter. Next, a really great affordable highlighter that looks super natural. Like if you don't want... Um, like a streak of highlighter, kind of like what I'm wearing today. <laughs> this is the new, this is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Next, this is a fancy product that I picked up from Dior. This is the Nude Skin Luminizer in shade number one. And this is just kind of like a, an elevated version of this one from Essence. And to round out the palette, I wanted to pull out one of the shades from the Sugar Glow Kit from ABH. I was torn between using Marshmallow and Starburst, um, but looking at the other shades, I think Marshmallow would fit in really nicely here. And here are all those highlighter shades swatched out. I debated doing two separate highlighter palettes, like one more affordable and then one more higher end, but I thought it'd be nice to have kind of all of these together. We got a good mixture from the really affordable Essence one um, through to the middle ground ABH, the expensive for the drugstore, but less expensive than some of these other products, Physicians Formula, and then right up to the luxury with the Dior. I think it'd be fun to have it like kind of like as, as around the around the around the Sephora like sampling platter of highlighters, if you will. Each one of these highlighters has a special place in my heart, and I do reach for them individually, but I would love to see this kind of story in a highlighter palette. So those are all of my dream face palettes, highlighter palettes that I just thought of at the top of my head with products from my collection. Let me know down below if you like face palettes, and if you could put any products together, affordable, luxury, mid-grained, mid-grange, mid-range, what would you put together to make your dream face palette? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.